Good morning, it's January 18th. My name is Galit and here is the Galactic News. I woke up so excited today. I don't know, I woke up from the dream that gave me all those ideas and suddenly I know what I need to do and how to move forward. And then I remember, aha, Uranus went direct today. Obviously, we finally get this aha moment and move forward feeling. Don't you have it? I mean, check with yourself if something is different today because while we were sleeping, or at least I was sleeping in my part of the world, Uranus went direct at 10 degrees Taurus. Now, Uranus is still in the square with Saturn. Uh, we've been feeling it for a year and a half now, and they've been urging us to create change in our system, in our structure, and bring up something new. But look, sometimes there are those days when the sky is just singing in a symphony, and today is one of those days, and I want to show you some stuff that's going on. So we have Mars in Sagittarius. Mars has been in Sagittarius for almost a month, almost uh, ending the transit in Sagittarius. And Mars in Sagittarius is that positive, moving forward, action-taking uh, energy that's saying, use what you know, what you have learned through your life to take action and create something. So if you're bringing something new to the world, use all that knowledge that you've already accumulated throughout your life. This is really important. You're not creating out of a vacuum. You're not creating out of a nothing. You're already carrying so much knowledge, Sagittarius, knowledge that you've accumulated. So use that to create the new stuff that you're bringing. Venus is still retrograding in Capricorn. Mercury is retrograding in Aquarius. Mercury in Aquarius retrograding, bringing us information that we need to use right now that we may have overseen or overlooked or didn't pay attention to. So Mercury is going, is always the messenger, is going and bringing that information so we can use it. Venus retrograding in Capricorn for a long time because Venus is asking us one really important question. What is important for you? What are your values? And according to your values, what's really important? And clean the noise and concentrate, focus on what's important for you. That's really important, right? So what is important for you? The other things that's going on, and it's really big, the nodes. This is the North Node, so the South Node would be here. The North, the north and the South Node have transited from Sagittarius uh, Gemini into Taurus and Scorpio. Now, Taurus and Scorpio is always about value and worth. So what is your self-worth? What is your self-value? And according to that, you create security, financial security or not. So Taurus and Scorpio axis, which we're going to have the nodes transiting there for uh, a year and a half, will give us the opportunity to clean up and heal Scorpio. Any old trauma that is related to our self-worth and our ability to create financial security. Taurus wants us to have financial security. North, uh, North Node is going into Taurus, went into Taurus. And it urges us to see how can we create this new kind of financial security so we can create. This journey of this life is all about creating, creating yourself, the best version of yourself, and creating structures, creating all kind of new, beautiful creations that you can bring to the world and share with others. The word others is really important. Share with your community. Saturn in Aquarius is there for a reason. It is teaching us a new way to be in our community. So that's a beautiful day. Oh, Jupiter in Pisces, of course, and Neptune in Pisces, giving us the faith and the ability to believe that there is something greater than us that we belong to and the ability to have downloads, the spiritual downloads, creative downloads that are coming from, it seems that they're coming from nowhere, but they're coming from somewhere, right? The universal mind or whatever you want to call it. And we can uh, let it run through us and create from that space of just knowing and allowing. That's it for today. It's a really exciting day for me. I hope for you too. Uh, enjoy the day. Enjoy yourself and become the best version of yourself today and every day. I will see you next time.